Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the very first Unity 3D tutorial on my channel and today I am going to be showing you how to play uh, videos um, that you download from the internet or create yourself uh, inside of Unity 3D um, there's a few things that you have to know first and the first thing is, is that you need to download QuickTime Player and install it as it has an encoding tool that Unity uses to turn the video file that you're importing into a movie texture and allows it to be played inside of Unity so get that and then once you drag it in it does everything itself as long as you have QuickTime Player installed. Um, another thing you may want to use small files or maybe even low resolution video files um, as I've had problems with dragging stuff in and Unity would literally just crash or maybe you can try to wait it out and see as I've tried using I've been using a smaller file and now I'm using this one this one is 17 megabytes and the other one was only seven so you might just have to wait depending on the quality and the audio that's in the background so this is the animation that we're going to be using and then we're going to be implementing a pause and play thing for it you don't have to use a pause and play but it's just there in case you do need it or want to know how to do it and another thing, if you are doing this on a project that you're already working on, I do recommend saving your project and backing it up as well before uh, messing around with this thing as if Unity crashes and you didn't save your project and everything could just go to shit. So I recommend that. So just a precaution. Uh, other than that, uh, let's just jump right into it. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is right click the hierarchy, go to UI and then click raw image. and basically this is what we have here then and you're going to want to on this raw image you're going to want to stretch out the raw image to the full size of the canvas and that's pretty much everything for the canvas uh, this white thing is what's going to be displaying the video so if you have it this size just the white is going to be displaying the video so that is everything you need to do with the canvas right now so other than that we're just going to go right click new script and we're going to call it c-sharp script and movie player create and then open that up as you can see i've been trying to do this before but just the audio file wasn't good enough and obs kept crashing on me so here we go um space there and uh, let your void start and then go using unity engine dot ui then underneath that you're going to want to put brackets required components space brackets type of and then in brackets again audio source perfect now we're going to add two variables one public one private so public uh, movie texture and we're going to call this movie so this is where you're going to drag the movie onto and then a private audio source and we're just going to call it audio and uh, the reason why this is private is because we're going to be grabbing the audio from this movie file and playing it in the background so it's synced up perfectly and nicely right after that you're going to want to jump down here into your void start you're going to want to start with get component and then put in here raw image brackets dot texture equals movie as movie texture shit there we go and then this basically is going to draw the movie uh, the movie texture onto the raw image of the canvas and then underneath that you're going to want to put audio equals get component and then audio source brackets and then that's just going to get a audio source component and then the audio is going the audio dot clip equals movie dot audio clip and then that's basically getting the audio of the movie which can be found here as you can see there's the audio track there and that basically applies it to the audio clip to play other than that like it will not play audio and then after that you're just going to want to put 
movie dot play and then audio dot play yep there and that is basically how to get the video to play so you're going to go back to your raw image drag the script on as you can see it automatically puts an audio source then just drag your animation in and I click play you see it starts the animation and then you can control the volume of that animation here so yeah there we go that's perfect and then any change you make in here will apply to the sound itself and that is pretty much how you get the video to play and now we're going to add in a pause and resume system just you don't have to use it but it's just in case you want to know how to do it so we're going to start with a void update and do that i always put a space there just because of uh, doing stuff with ui event systems and things like that it sometimes asks for a space between them um anyways moving on you're going to want to go if input dot get key down and then key code dot I'm gonna do P for play or pause and then put and movie dot is playing and then that basically that basically says if the movie's playing and you press P then movie dot pause and that will pause the movie and then to resume the movie else if input dot get key down uh, key code dot p and you're going to want to put an exclamation mark movie dot is playing and then put movie dot play and what this is basically saying that else if uh, you press p and the movie has st is stopped playing so is paused or isn't playing then play the movie and then we're going to save that open up unity let that do its thing and then and then if i press p it pauses it and if i press p again it resumes it and uh, it's not the best quality but it is what it is and that is basically how you get movies into unity and be able to play them um, I hope this video helped any of you guys looking for this and if you want more tutorials like this or more or different tutorials on different stuff please leave a comment below and tell me what you would like to see um, other than that please do rate, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.